Hello, y'all. Welcome back to my rad channel. Thank you for joining in. Today, we're going to go through a slideshow. I'm very excited. This is my second slideshow, and I just put something short together so we can see how this goes. Let me know if you like it. So we're going to go through IV contrast injection for CT scans. Is it better to go on the right arm or on the left arm of the patient? That is the question. So we give contrast from peripheral IVs mostly. And I know it doesn't seem like it matters, but it really matters if you inject through the patient's right arm or the left arm because the blood flow is a little bit different, especially for cardiac scans or CTAs of the head and neck, pulmonary arteries, um, mostly things in the chest like your aortic arch and so forth. So let's get to it. Here is kind of the blood flow of someone's body, the human body. In imaging, this is our right side. Everything on this side is our right side, what we're looking at. Anatomically looking at this image, that's the right side. So this is the right hand, this is how the blood goes in, that's the heart, and it goes everywhere else. And then we have the left side. Left side's coming on this side. And just FYI, if you didn't already know, the red signifies oxygenated blood to the body. It's the, wait, now I'm questioning myself. Yeah, I will, yes because the aortic arch is right there. The red is oxygenated blood coming from the heart, and then the blue is kind of like our venous phase. That's the deoxygenate, deoxygenated blood um, going into the heart. That's like the... I had to pause the recording because the dog was barking. I'm not sure where I left off, but I'm just going to jump into the blue, I believe, is the deoxygenated blood. So let's get into a more maximized photo of our veins and arteries. Again, this side is our right side and this side is our left side. Which side is better? Let's find out. So let's start with the right arm. If we were to inject contrast in the right arm, so brachiocephalic or the AC on this side, it's going to go through here and it's actually going to go through our veins and the veins come through it's going to be blue the veins will go through and then it'll cut through here and then it'll dump down right there into the superior vena cava and our superior vena cava connects to our heart which is the right atrium would be right here right atrium goes to the right ventricle and then it goes out into uh, right here, it goes back here to our pulmonary arteries. That's where the embolism kind of lodges when we do a CTPE. That's where the CTPE, that's the main concern. And you have your left branch and your right branch that they kind of take a look at. Um, so then it comes back into this heart in the left atrium into the left ventricle and comes back out to the aorta and then that means it comes down and then that's your 
arteries, that's your aortic arch. So coming from this right arm, it's going to come in and dump into that. And you see how nicely it just comes in. And then once the contrast comes in, it's going to go straight to the heart. It's just right here, right? And then let's say the left arm. So the left arm, once it goes in, it's going to come in through here, right there. It's going to come through. And let's say we want to take a picture of the pulmonaries or the aorta which is right here and right here you see how it has to cross over first go through the heart system and then it'll finally mm, it'll finally uh, opacify these arteries so that means there's going to be cross contamination well, not, no, it's not cross-contamination, it's just a crossover. It's crossing over before it lightens this up. And when it comes through, it's going to obscure some of these arteries that we're interested in because it's already here in the... Um, Mm, what is it called? The brachiocephalic veins and stuff. And then, for instance, we want to look at the CTA neck. Let's say coming from the left side, it's going to cross over. The red is what we're interested in, the arteries, the red part. So when this comes in, there might be some reflux or crossover of the subclavian and then it's just going to obscure all of that and probably leave other artifacts so it's going to be more dense than what we need to see and when it comes to this side yes it can reflux here but it doesn't do a lot of crossover and contaminate all that because it's going to come through here and then go up so it doesn't has less obscurity and the left side, when it comes through, the angle of it um, and the way it merges in, it's compressed between the aorta and um, the sternum. So, as you can see, the right side is the winner. So any chance you get, try to use, if you have the option, of course, try to use the right side over the left side, especially for anything in the thoracic area or the CTA head. So in the thoracic area, you know, we have the aorta, the cardiac studies, the pulmonary studies, anything that involves this, try using the right over the left. And here we go, injecting the right arm is favored. Right arm for the win. And an overview of why the right arm is better is because you have better image quality because there's no cross over of the veins that's crossing over through the brachiocephalic or the subclavian part um, less dense to that area meaning less artifacts if you use the right arm because of that crossover um, the right side runs parallel to this in the aorta and, and again doesn't have to cross over so right arm right arm right arm always try the right arm and that wraps it up. I hope that you got some information from this. And please share it, teach it. If I did say or comment something that was incorrectly, please let me know. And please share that on the comments. Hopefully people read it. Um, follow my private or personal YouTube channel at Kamani on Earth because this one is just mainly like radiology stuff. And of course, Instagram. 
Kamani.d12. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care and toodles. Noodles.